I always play under uh, my mm, Japanese style name, which means nothing. Emu is just uh, it's an animal sound that I made when I came into a room one time. And people laughed and somehow the name stuck. I started out as a, uh, well, a very typical Western food student. The, uh, the Western food is so technologically advanced. It's, it's such a perfect piece of machinery um, that in going to Japanese flutes, uh, it's been going back in terms of away from technology. Mm -hmm. This is a shinoboe that was made for me. I've made my own with the help of... Um, uh, who, who made this? Uh, Jose Haruyoshi, I believe. Uh, he's a master at the Kabukiza. It's a rather short mm -hmm. shinoboe. Mm -hmm. Twelve Juniban, and this was uh, an experimental instrument. Um, I call it the tsudara, which means uh, icicle, icicle in Japanese. Uh, Mino Shimpei, who uh, was my help in making my own shinobue, and he gave me this glass. Another take. Not quite a shinoboy, because it doesn't have the number of holes. This is, again, this is an experimental instrument, and it doesn't really hold to any pattern. The material is right, but the length is all wrong. Six holes. The sizes are, as you see, are quite unstandard. And uh, the sound, because this was probably intended to be a shakuhachi, only it wasn't long enough. Uh, instead, the maker decided that uh, uh, just to stick a cork in there and turn it into a transverse flute. Since I'm kind of a hybrid player, starting out with, with uh, Western flute and French flute school training, um, maybe it's kind of fitting that I'm playing hybrid instruments, too. They're not quite Japanese. Um, I'm not quite Western <laughs> anymore, so we're a bit half and half, and it has been, I think, a pretty good match. I'm constantly exploring what I can do with these instruments rather than playing a tune on them. I'm letting the instruments teach me. I had a teacher, as I said, who was a pupil of uh, Marcel Moise and the great French flute master. And uh, I was fortunate to have her for several years. Uh, and um, auditioned for National Music Camp for this, their very rigorous uh, summer program. Um, and was fortunate to be, uh, to be admitted. And one of the things that I learned there was that it was an extraordinary musical summer, uh, was that I was not professional. It was not my, I was not that caliber of a player, and it would be wiser for me to uh, make my money in some other way. So when I came back, I went into journalism class, I basically trained myself to be a writer, which I'd always wanted to do. Got a journalism degree, worked for my hometown paper, uh, went into PR, then advertising, and I've worked in advertising for about 25 years. And not until I came to Japan, and really came not only to work, but also to pursue this musical interest. Um, not until the last few years when I met improvisers and was introduced to a little club on the, the Chuo Sen Goodman uh, that I met other people who had been pursuing musical interests for years uh, and playing improv. They had never stopped after their teen years. They had, they had gone straight on. However they had made their money, whatever the day job was, the night job had become music. There are also very professional players who do make their money in this area. Um, it's, a, it's a mix. All of these people, I would say, are, have, are very professional in their attitude to music. And uh, it's a real inspiration to 
to meet, hear, play with so many. circle that is has, has incredible energy and people starting new groups new associations always experimenting trying new sounds um, in some ways Japan's running they are not mastered by money they are pursuing a dedication to new sounds 